Smart locks offer a wide range of benefits for your home security. So let's dive into the second purchase that you should be making when building a smart security system. As always, before we dive in today's video, I just want to provide you a recap as to where we are in our series right now. Today, we're going to be talking about smart locks. This is our journey through a smart security system, not just your generic big brand prepackaged home security system that you purchase from another company, but one that you have designed specifically for yourself, for your homes and your family's needs. This system is going to integrate seamlessly with your smart home that you already have. Go ahead and watch from the very beginning, our building of a smart security system so you can learn all the different devices that we're going to be talking about. You can even drill it back even further and go learn the basics of a smart home and all the different devices that are included in a smart home. And the reason why I encourage you to go all the way back to the very beginning, there are some devices that are going to be both for a smart security system as well as a smart home. Some of those devices you can purchase then when you're building your smart home. And that way you're not having to purchase another one or you already purchased them with the fact that you're going to be utilizing them for security also at the same time. So Ian, what exactly is a smart lock? You have your generic lock on the front of your house that is opened with a key. We then started having locks with a keypad on them on our home, which gave us the ability to not have to carry keys. You put in your code and the door unlocks for you. You were able to put in different codes for different people, and it made it a lot easier to allow people in your home that didn't have a key. But now with new technology, we have smart locks. These go beyond just the regular key and keypad, they generally still have those capabilities. But now we have things with face ID, we have things with fingerprint scanners, you can open your lock with an app or even with proximity sensors or the NFC in your phone. So you can tap your phone or even your watch to your door lock and it will open for you. So generally speaking, a smart lock is going to be a lock on your door that has any of these features. And these smart locks don't just pertain to the front of your house. These can go on other doors in your house. I even see one that people put on their bedroom doors for being a parent, you don't want your kids coming in at certain times of the day. What makes smart locks so much better than just your regular keypad style lock? The biggest thing is convenience. It is so nice not having to carry a set of keys. Since I purchased the smart lock that's on my home, the keys that came with it are still hanging on the original key ring that it came with and are sitting up with the rest of my keys. I think the only time I've used the key is during the initial testing when I got it just to see how the key worked. Other than that, I've had no reason to carry those keys. It has significantly slimmed down the key ring that I carry around. Nowadays, all I have are my vehicle keys. My wife's vehicle is a fob and my truck still has a physical key, keyless entry fob as well. But I'm not having to carry around a bunch of keys to different doors in my house. Smart locks also have remote access. As I mentioned, you can open them with an app. I have the ability to use my voice assistant and open the door remotely without even having to get up. I know, kind of lazy, but when you have company coming over, and you know that they're at the door and it's people I've had over a lot. Don't always greet them at the door now. Sometimes I just unlock the door. They hear the door unlock and they come in themselves. The other awesome feature is whenever I have people come over that need access to my house and I might not be home, I have the ability to unlock my house remotely so I don't have to physically be there. What also goes along with the ability to let certain people in your home is you can give them access or temporary keys or temporary codes to be able to access your home. You know you have a contractor coming over, you wanna let them in the house, you already know them and you're comfortable with them being there by themselves, you can give them a code and it's going to log when they come inside that home. You can give it for a temporary time frame or a long time frame, or you can make it permanent like I have done with some of my friends and family. This type of access helps you increase security because you know when your door is being unlocked and locked. So you can see when somebody is accessing that door. This also can be tracked with contact sensors or motion sensors, but it's nice knowing when that door is locked and unlocked and getting notifications, letting you know that that door is locked for you. 
Along with the activity monitoring of knowing when the door is locked and unlocked, that is just a full-blown safety measure. Right now, I have mine set up so that at a certain time of day, I believe it's nine o'clock at night, the door will start automatically locking for me. If the door has been unlocked for three minutes, it will lock itself. This will continue happening until about eight o'clock in the morning. I do have the option to turn on a setting so that anytime my door closes, it automatically locks itself. I found this kind of annoying, especially with little kids, because we'll go in and out of the house a few times times, especially if we're playing outside. If it's hot or if it's cold, I'm closing that door and I don't want it locking automatically every single time. So right now I just have it set up to happen at nighttime. I can have it automatically lock my door and I get a notification letting me know it's been locked. So I always know when my door is locked and I always know when it's not locked. I mentioned being able to unlock my house with a voice assistant. This is one of my favorite things is integrating it with my smart home. So now whenever somebody rings my doorbell, if you watch my last video, you can see what happens when somebody rings it. I then have the ability to offer a voice prompt to automatically unlock my door immediately following that. It creates a very seamless transition and I'm not feeling like I have to actually go unlock my door every single time. All of these features we've talked about are really wrapped up into two main different situations. The reason why you should be considering a smart lock is one, for the safety aspect or security aspect of it. Also for the convenience, it's just a lot easier. And with those two, it creates a peace of mind of knowing your home is secure. Two favorite features of having a smart lock are not having to use keys. And in my case, I have a fingerprint scanner on mine and that's how I use it, as well as the activity log monitoring. So I know when somebody is coming and going from my home. Now, which smart lock should you be considering? I'm going to link a couple videos down below from one of my favorite YouTubers, Smart Home Solver. Recently, he reviewed two different smart locks, one that has a fingerprint scanner and one that has a face ID on it. They were really cool locks. I'm not sure if I would go down the road of purchasing those. I'm still gonna recommend either Eufy or Arlo when it comes to your smart devices with home security. The reason why is these guys have multiple different devices that are going to connect together. I already have the Eufy doorbell and Eufy lock. And what's really great is in the settings of my smart lock, I can integrate it with my doorbell so that again, it knows that the two of them are there. So whenever I am in my camera on my doorbell and I'm actually looking at it and talking with somebody, there's the option to immediately unlock my door right there without having to leave that screen and navigate over to the door lock itself. What's also really great is if you go with the Eufy route, Eufy's built a smart lock that has a camera built in. So if you don't have the ability to add a doorbell or you don't want to have to spend the money on a separate doorbell, you can always go down the option of adding that camera to the smart lock itself. Maybe you live in a place where you can't change the doorbell, but you could change the door lock. You could swap the door lock so you now have a camera and a smart lock all in one. If you haven't taken the time to watch my doorbell video, now's a great time to go back and look at it so you can understand why I'm talking about Eufy and Arlo. You can also go back and watch the whole monitoring video to see what features you're going to get inside of those. Both of these companies offer the ability to opt into your home monitoring, but you're not required to have home monitoring. So they're going to offer all of the great features of recording and saving your videos, but not force you to pay a monthly subscription fee. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something about smart locks and why you should be adding a smart lock to your home. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Share this with a friend who needs a smart lock on their home. Comment down below which smart lock you're using. Tell me about one that maybe I don't know about or that you found that's super unique. Go ahead and hit the notification button as well if you want to be notified whenever a new video of mine drops. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. It always helps the algorithm whenever you guys interact with my videos. I thank you again so much for watching. We'll hope to see you guys again next week now. Bye-bye.